welcome students today we are going to see adjacent angles so adjacent what do you mean by the term adjacent i remember sitting next to few people the person sitting next to you is known as adjacent i think the next to you person the sitting the person sitting next to you either on the right side or on the left side so adjacent can have different meaning in different context so don't take it literally by the wisdom when we talk about adjacent in terms of quadrilateral so if i talk about this angle suppose angle a angle of uh, adjacent adjacent means just next to it so angle adjacent to a is angle b or angle c so there are different different definitions for this right now in today's class we are going to discuss about adjacent angles okay adjacent angles so adjacent angles the simple figure is like this so let's say this is angle 1 and this is angle 2 and if i name it in different way a o b and this part is c so there are two angles angle 1 is angle c o b angle 1 and angle 2 is angle a o c so in both the cases there are some features some points one point is they have a common vertex this they are meeting they are originating from a same point point o or they are meeting the both the angles have, are meeting at one single point that's why this is the first criteria of being adjacent angle second criteria is that they have a common arm when we say this is a angle there are few things that this is known as the vertex and these two known as these two lines are known as the arms so this oc is the common arm you can see in the name also oc is the common arm for both the things so if these two criteria is meet they are known as adjacent angles so why we are so bothered about adjacent angles so there can be two uh, multiple kind of ways of looking at it so one is when two angles meet or join together and give you 90 degree they are known as complementary angles they complement each other why we want to understand complementary angles because the same vocabulary will be used in a uh, 10th grade trigonometry so i am not going to go into that but understand the term complementary they complement each other by adding up to 90 degree another way is when the two angles add up to form a straight angle that means 180 degree so they are known as supplementary angles so these when two adjacent angles join together obviously adjacent angle joins together to form a straight angle or you can say 180 degree they are known as supplementary angles this is a basic definition or basic meaning of adjacent angles and where you can go to and one more thing when two angles join together angle 1 plus angle 2 one is obviously we call it supplementary and the famous is one more famous is linear pair so this thing is very important but pair is only for two angles what if there are three angles and forming a straight line what do you mean by straight line i'm talking about the straight line so this still what will happen one angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree but now we want to say it is a linear pair we call it straight angle straight angle so these question uh, regarding these questions are very important i hope uh, this concept is clear and we will be discussing this thing in the class also next comes when two lines intersect each other 
two straight lines intersect each other, there can be different ways of looking at it. So all we are looking at, there are four angles forming. There are four angles forming. This is one angle, this is two, this one is third, and this one is fourth. And if you observe, there one and three are the opposite angles, two and four are the opposite angles. So we call it vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are always equal. I don't want you to take my words. I just want you to draw this figure randomly. Random two lines you draw. Okay. And with the help of protector, measure all the four angles and see yourself whether the two angles are equal or not. Angle 1 equals to 3 and angle 2 equals to 4. And how do you write it? Another way, this is a number form. Another way is like suppose A, A, B is one line, C, D is another line and this point is O. Now, for your reference I am shading this black one and white one, angle A, O, D, how do you write? A, O, D is equal to C, O, B. Angle AOC is equal to angle DOB. So this is the same thing, but I'm writing in a different way. But make sure these are the only two ways. If you write angle O, we won't be able to know which angle O you are talking about. Either you write it in numbers or either you write full names. So this is another way writing angle O by single letter, but this creates confusion when the same angle O, same vertex O has multiple angles. So you have to tell from which direction you are talking about. So I hope this point is also clear regarding uh, vertically opposite angles. So if you have any doubt, just keep it with yourself. Ask you, uh, you can ask in the doubt class or in the class.